Hey there again, brothers. Well, I got some observations for you. I've gathered a fascination lately um, about survivalism in nature, and it's namely, of course, due to taking the red pill. Make no mistake, though, being raised in the South and having been served in the, pri in the military, having prior service, I've picked up some things that could help me survive in the wild, but I can't rest it on those two ways alone. A, a man needs seasoned experience and careful preparation to do so. Now, I've read a book the other day called Into the Wild by John Krakauer, and I found it a pretty good read. There's a movie on it, too. And I remembered E-Man 67 talking about the movie in a past video of his, I think it was. I think he did something on that. He said something about that. Uh, he was also talking about Dick Prinicky when he went to Alaska and you know he had his cabin and everything. Now, it was strange that I found the book in jail, though. Anyhow, <laughs> well, anywho, man. Nearly thirty years ago, a a young man from a well-to-do family hitchhiked all the way to Alaska and walked all the way to Denali or also known as Mount McKinley the highest point in America now this dude graduated college with a 3.72 GPA from a free ride I mean he had money left over after he graduated and yet he donated all of that, a whole $24,000 in his savings, right? What the fuck? If only he found MGTOW, man, <laughs> right? Well, not only that, before the guy set out for Alaska, burned his money, yeah, dude, literally burned all his money, ditched his whip, an old but reliable Datsun B210. Wow, some crazy shit, right? Well, his family had no idea of his whereabouts until his remains turned up in Alaska. Spoiler alert if you're going to watch the movie or read the book. Now, I read the book, and I'm here at first thinking, wow, this guy was woefully unprepared. I mean, this guy survived four to six months in an abandoned bus and some of these homeless street campers are out here talking about the struggle is real and I'm like bullshit well I don't know I was one of those homeless street campers now I admired the guy's guts though he did survive the Mojave Desert and that is hell within itself and get this he had no axe no snowshoes no compass he just had a 10 pound bag of rice a 22 caliber weapon, which was too small for big game, which is what one needed to survive out there, and a few Tolstoy and Jack London stories, novels and what have you. Now, this guy was far in over his head. And speaking of Jack London, I remember reading a short story in college called To Build a Fire, and I couldn't help but draw some parallels to that story and this Into the Wild book and that the protagonist met slow and painful deaths while trying to survive out in the nature, out in the wild and shit. Oh, man. Uh, oh, well. That, that's just my observation on the whole ordeal. You can't survive the wild on exceedingly minimal gear and an ideology. You gotta have a plan, man. Well, I'm gonna watch the movie. I'm pretty sure that it's has those dramatic elements and um, they're sure to entertain. I'm gonna watch this after I record this and um, before I go I'm gonna leave you with a nice observation on death from this other great book that I read while I was in jail called A Man Called o Avi alright I think that's how it's pronounced A Man Called Avi and it was written by Frederick ba Backman alright death is a strange thing. People live their whole lives as if it does not exist, 
yet it's often one of the great motivations for living. Some of us, in time, become so conscious of it that we live harder, more obstinately, with more fury. Some need its constant presence to even be aware of its antithesis. Others become so preoccupied with it that they go into the waiting room long before it's announced its arrival. We fear it, yet most of us fear more than anything that it may take someone other than ourselves. For the greatest fear of death is that it will always pass us by and leave us there alone. Think about that. Real shit, huh? Share this video to men that need a red pill. Like and comment if you stumbled upon this video and made it this far. Subscribe and favorite, bang the bell if you want to see me again. Get the notifications together. And donate using the description links. I'm going through it, guys. Anything helps. Peace.